Hey, what's up everybody? Ryan King here with Worship Artistry, and this is a tutorial on how to uh, import your Omnisphere patches that you've purchased from Worship Artistry uh, into Omnisphere. And if you are uh, you know, on Worship Artistry, you can go to um, a specific lesson. So for, here, uh, for example, I've brought up uh, A Thousand Tongues by Vertical Worship, and when we get into it, uh, if we go over on the keyboard side of things, here's the keyboard lesson where you can watch the introduction, the music video, etc. Over here it says buy Omnisphere keyboard patch. You can click that link. And it'll take you to our Worship Artistry Institute that you can see here. And you can see it right here, Thousand Tongues by Vertical Church Band. Uh, since you're a Worship Artistry member, you get a little bit of a discount, five bucks instead of seven bucks, and you just add to your cart, and you can check out. And then once you download the file, you just want to make sure that you save it to, um, uh, you know, a common place, uh, specifically a place where you can back it up just in case something goes bad with your computer. And then what you want to do is you open up your host. Uh, right now I'm using Pro Tools because I, I use Omnisphere a lot for recording. Uh, but if you're doing it <clears throat> for a live kind of thing and you're doing main stage, uh, or perhaps you're using the standalone version of Omnisphere. Uh, whatever it is, uh, what you want to do in order to install your patches, you want to come up here to Utility. Uh, you know, first get your host going or get Omnisphere going. Um, and if you're using Mainstage or anything, you know, any other DAW, you'll create an instrument track. Uh, throw Omnisphere on, as you can see here, as a uh, as an insert, and then you'd open it up. And you want to click on Utility. And then you want to come down to install.omnisphere. So we'll click on that and it'll say, um, you know, caution, install sounds from other users and third party companies. Please respect all copyrights and add only material that you are licensed to use, which you are because you purchased the patch. Uh, and then you want to go find your file. So uh, as you can see here, I've got a lot of the, the files that are on the site here. And so I'm going to take uh, a thousand tongues since that's the example we gave. I'm going to click open. It says this package, Thousand Tongues, contains one multi, four patches. Do you wish to install these? Click OK. And then it'll install and it'll say the data has been installed and ready to use. Multis are in the shared uh, or sharing directory and patches are in the sharing directory. So what that means is that there are two different sharing directories. You've got it in the patch, as you can see here. Um, over on the side and the way you get to that is up under the directory you can choose like all spectrosonics all uh, the different libraries here but there's a sharing tab that you can click here and it gives you uh, that specific song and as you can see the um, different patches that are used so you can just load up one patch if you want to or you can come over to your multi which is right here and click on that and it's already loaded on sharing uh, so if you're not if for some reason you were like here on all spectrosonics you would just click that and come down to sharing. As you can see, here's a thousand tongues. What I'll do is just go ahead and click on it. And it says completed. And now, if I come back and click on multi and live, you can see it's all loaded up and ready to go. The live mode is turned on. Uh, I believe, yep, there are some stacks here um, that are set, already set up. And it's ready to go. So if you're using Omni TR, the, uh, the controller app on your iPad, you'll be able to control um, these by clicking on your iPad and choosing which one you want. Uh, the only thing that you might have to do is uh, assign like a mod wheel or something to these. So for instance, on this uh, house rezo piano, on the main, this cutoff right here is set to uh, either you could set it to a mod wheel, I've got it set to a fader. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on that um, and click MIDI CC Learn. And then I'm going to move my little fader. And as you can see now, that fader is moving. Um, and so if I start to play, you can see how that works. So um, again, that's probably the only thing that you'll have to do is if uh, these patches are using some kind of cutoff filter, you'll, you'll want to map that to whatever controller that you're using. Uh, maybe you're using a nano control. Um, if you're using other controllers specifically on your keyboard, you want to map those. And the easiest way to do that is just to uh, uh, right click 
um, MIDI CC Learn. Um, these others, like MIDI CC Learn Inverted, is if you just want, instead of going up, you wanted it to come down. Uh, and if you accidentally map it to a wrong deal, maybe you didn't want it on a mod wheel or you didn't want it on a specific fader, you can just come down to unlearn. And when you do, it takes it away. And as you can see, I'm moving, I'm, I'm moving my fader right now, but nothing is happening. So I would just come back here, right click on it, uh, MIDI CC learn, and then move that specific fader or mod wheel, whatever your preference is. So again, that's how you uh, install the patches from uh, Worship Artistry. You can uh, download a variety of patches that we have available, and we're adding more uh, as time goes along. Um, and then once you download them, just come back to Omnisphere, Utility, Install Omnisphere, um, just click Continue, and then go find your file that you want. Uh, so for instance, if I took the song, uh, what is this, A Christmas Hallelujah, clicked Open, OK, it'll install it, and it installed it in the um, shared folder here. If I go to my multi again, you can see it here, and I can select it. If I go ahead and select it, it'll say please wait as it loads it up. This one might be a, a little bit more of a intensive kind of file, which is why it's taken a little bit for it to, to load. It's probably quite a few um, different patches uh, and such. Um, but as that loads, um, you know, you can come over here. You can see uh, that it's got four different uh, specific sounds that you can choose from. Uh, and it's really that easy. So again, just download your file, click on Utility, install Omnisphere, and you'll be good to go. If you have any other questions, feel free to shoot us an email. You can contact us uh, either from our website, or if you have specific questions concerning patches and keyboard stuff, you can send me an email at ryan at worshipartistry.com. Have a great day.